All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing decorative feathers. So, <laughs> let's get going. We are doing decorative feathers and there's a couple ways you can do it. So over here on my sketchbook, I have a couple examples from a variety of different ways how to do this. Uh, on top, we have a version where it's done with watercolor and you kind of like just mix two colors from both sides of the directions. You just gotta make sure it's gonna leaf shape and then you can do random lines on the inside. Um, so that's one option. Another option is, is that you can kind of just make like a really nice thin stem, like as thin as a straw, and then kind of make the shape of a leaf on the outside and you can decorate it the way you want that way. And the way that I'm gonna do it is closer to the way that's displayed here on the bottom. And what I wanna do is kind of create like a stem really nice and thin. I can make it decorative if I want. Uh, and then I think I might wanna do the peacock feather actually, cause it's very cool looking. And then I'll kind of make it spiky in the side to resemble this one more on the very far uh, right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the basics and then as we go along, uh, you can kind of do what you would want to do. Uh, so with that said, let's get going. So I think I might want to do uh, two leaves, one a little bit easier and then one more, uh, more advanced. So I'm gonna do one leaf uh, one direction and one leaf the other direction. So let's start off with my first leaf. So I'm gonna go from here all the way up to a point. Just like that. I'm gonna make sure it's super, super skinny and make sure it's not too close to each other. There we go. So that's one leaf. I'm gonna make the other leaf facing downward. So I'm gonna go from here and then I'm gonna go down. I think I might stop halfway because I do wanna make sure I have a reason how, or how means how to do this round one right there. So that'll be the more advanced one upside down. Um, so here we go. Uh, here, let's get going. Right, the easiest way to do this is to just try to take a side on the bottom. I think it's a good spot right here. And then I'm just gonna go up. And then maybe I'll just go zigzag a little bit. So it resembles a, a leaf, uh, not a leaf, uh, a feather. And I can kind of like go up a tad bit on both sides. I want to create a break. Just like so. And we'll do maybe two over here. And then as I get closer to the top, I can just kind of create a point like that. Ta! A feather! Alright, so that is the easy way. Um, let's try to do the hard way. Um, it might be a little hard though, so I'm gonna try to do it in pencil first. Because I might mess up. <laughs> so let's see, the leaf shape, uh, th sorry, the feather shape. I'm gonna keep saying that, ain't, ain't I? So the feather shape's going down more like this. It's kind of going like that direction, like that. There's a round shape right here. And it kind of branches away from that, it looks like. Uh, peacock feathers are very odd. All right, let's, I don't know, wish me luck, guys. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's try a more advanced version. Let's try to spike in the bottom a little bit. And as we go up, go back down, back up. Kind of go a couple of these ones right here, like this. There we go. Go back down. Like that. Let's go to the other side. Spike it. Go up, over. Maybe once or twice, like this. And go back around. And then, this part's the hard part. The round part of the leaf. Sorry, the, <laughs> the feather. Oh my gosh, I keep messing up. I'm trying to talk about the feather here. There we go, a couple circles here and there. Wow, this is really difficult. Okay, let's kind of create like a flower pattern in there for more dimension and more depth. Maybe I'll create a pattern like this on the inside. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, and then a couple loose ends here. Now this is really difficult. Alright. Let's go with that and then maybe a couple of these things that they have here like this. I don't 
exact, don't know exactly what these are, but they look cool. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then I think we can get started in dividing the sections up a little bit. And we'll go from there. Um, so let me just take, I'm not gonna do a black marker. Why don't I divide the sections up right now? So maybe for this one, maybe I'll do uh, concentric circles on each side, like this. And they kind of match up like that. So they're both symmetrical on both sides. Maybe I'll do a couple stripes here and there. Maybe I want to put, hold on, maybe one of these diamonds. That'd be pretty cool. stripes. That would be neat. Alright, what else can I do? Loop -de loops like that. That was pretty cool. And maybe for one of these, maybe I'll do zigzags. That's a cool pattern. Alright. Hmm. ready to color I believe I'm just adding more detail with my marker and done so this one's done completely um, let's try to make some dividing lines in here do some interesting ones here oh this marker's running out guys that's okay pattern. Maybe another one right here actually. Okay. Um well, let's make some more zigzag patterns. Why not? That's always fun. Okay, um let's just see what else I can add. I'm liking this a lot. I did two leaves for you guys. Uh, sorry, feathers. <laughs> I keep calling them leaves, I don't know why. Um, so all I'm gonna do now is color them. So why don't I do one in colored pencil, sorry, one in crayon and one in marker. And then maybe you guys can decide what you guys wanna do. And then maybe you wanna do both or maybe you wanna do uh, something different or paint. You can do paint too. Nothing's stopping you from doing paint. So why don't I just uh, go along with the flow and just have fun with it. So here we go.
good so far. I'm liking my color choices. All right, it looks like I'm gonna go. Looks like I'm going with warm, uh, warm colors on the first leaf. So I might as well and just go ahead and say, let's do cool colors for the other leaf. Why don't we do that? <laughs> well, let's do. Hmm. Let's see. Should I do a different color? Let's do a brown for the inside. There we go, and then let's do yellow in there. All right, first feather is done. It's looking great, by the way. All right, let's do the next one. And let's do cool colors instead. So it wasn't my intention to do warm and cool colors. Um, it just happened to be that way. So I guess I'll just stick with my theme. <laughs> So here I go. Oh, forgot. Uh, I was gonna do this in the uh, crayon. My bad. Okay, hold on. Right, that's gonna be the only part that's uh, marker in uh, this uh, <laughs> in this part of the feather. All right, that's my fault. <laughs> I forgot my own rule. I mean, it's not really a rule, but that's what I wanted to do. All right, here we go. Cool colors here. Alright, so my feathers are all done. Um, I do have this one part over here, but I'll leave them white for now. Um, because I think I've made this video way too long. <laughs> so anyways, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope your feathers turn out great. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. See you guys later, bye.